Hey guys, welcome back to Real Talk. This is Zach with Hamadi and Solo. All right, guys, much more close to home. Let's talk about someone making making the rounds on on all the news channels here. Lamelo Ball. Just Are we excited? Oh boy, Lamelo! Hamadi, you went to go see him. I watched him live. Yeah, he, he, he was he was exciting, man. Like yeah. he had the crowd. Like Sydney Kings fans at the game were cheering the middle of the whole game, man. Mm-hmm. Like every time someone the board, people just want to see something happen, and it was it was crazy, man. He made he made some shit happen. He had a pretty he had a pretty average game. I wouldn't say he had the best game, but when he did do, like show off his talent, it was it was fun to watch, man. So so this move for him coming instead of going to college or whatever it was, coming here and playing in the NBL, success. You'd say you say it's, success. It's, it's worked. He's yeah. making money, and he's projected to go in top three. I think um, he's probably started the trend. You know what I mean? Him yeah, and RJ di- Hampton. He's RJ Hampton, not so much. No, but what like I'm saying is, wise, but, you he's know. probably top ten, maybe RJ. Top twenty. Yeah, he'll he'll make the NBA. Top top draft prospects coming to Australia, man. That's a massive thing for this country. Basketball has become relevant here again. I think people care about it again here. Um, you said you even said when when you want to when you went and watched the standard of basketball. It was sold out. Yeah, How many man. times do you see Sydney Kings game sold out? No one, Never. Care. no one cares about NBL usually, man. But, you know what I mean? That effect, you know, people people here know what's going on over there. Um, look, LaMelo Ball, um, I think he'll be the top pick next year. Um, not just based off I his... Think not just based off his name, yeah. all right? But I just think his, his skill set, no one's got that. It's very rare. I think he's would be the top pick depending on what team is drafting first. So yeah, if that's you true. have that's true. If you have the Golden State Warriors drafting first, I don't think they'll choose him. He's not with they look, you've seen what they've done with D'Angelo Russell. He's a similar guard to them, you know, Curry, Russell, Lamelo Ball. Imagine having those three you're like your team. It's never gonna work. It just depends on the team. So yeah. For me, I don't know if you're gonna go into it later on, but the New York Knicks, I think he'd bring the hype down there, man. And I think I, that's the best fit for me. I probably still won't pick him, let's be honest. I mean... <laughs> I'll, I'll pick someone from France again or something like that. Maybe they'll pick RJ Barrett and RJ Hampton. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that insight, man. That's oh, pretty... That's uh, great, mate. But um, in all honesty, um, it's pretty weird. Like, like this time last year, we were hearing about a lot of a lot of draft pros- prospects coming through. And there's not that many in um, America. There was a guy, there's a guy, a uh, center, James Wiseman. He just got banned for 12 games because he accepted money from his coach mm. who helped him, like, move. <laughs> That's rubbish, man. Um, well, the NCAA is, is, is terrible. Isn't it's, it? a, it's terrible, but, you know, sure, you know we're benefiting. A lot, of other, a lot of other competitions are benefiting. Um, they, they're changing the rules slowly, so they can get paid now. Um, but that that's rubbish, you know what I mean? A guy who's a possible top pick as well, he's a center, mm. um, playing for Memphis, I think. Um yeah, that's just sad, man. Like no wonder, no, no wonder people are turning off the NCAA. Well, you said, you said, you know, hopefully this is a trend now that continues. A lot of the college prospects coming to Australia, coming to Australia, playing yeah, playing the NBL. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of debate about that. You know, this Lonzo setting a new trend or whatever. Now a lot of the the feedback was that, well, this is different because Lonzo is quote unquote a celebrity, so that's why him coming is a big deal. You you know, everyone knows him, knows his family, whatever it is. This wouldn't be the case with say another another NBA player. Oh, sorry, not NBA player. Another basketball player from college coming over to the NBL. He wouldn't have the same hype, wouldn't have the same type of uh, media coverage or whatever. So it doesn't make sense for them to come. It's better if they play in college. There's more opportunity there. There's more, what's it called, uh, more coverage there. There's more coverage, but the exposure that yeah. Lamella Ball has brought to the game that, here. That's what I'm saying, but I'm saying Lamella Ball is a different case only because he was a celebrity before he got here. But to so be My on, question is, right, my question But is, a lot of these young college kids now... Are like celebrities, right? Yeah, like that uh, Julian New- Newman, whatever the hell his name. Yeah, is. yeah, the one that like hit that last. I don't think shot. he'll ever make the NBA, but he's put himself in a position to like get a contract overseas, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? bro, like, like uh, RJ Hampton, bro, I wouldn't have known about him if he didn't come to Australia, to be honest. Yeah, hundred percent. He just would have been one of the pack over there. Mm-hmm. I think coming to a different country is beneficial for them because they get their name out there. Oh wow, this guy's going to be eligible for the draft next year, and he's playing in Australia. We're going to follow him. You know what I mean? It, it, it actually helps these guys stand out. You know what I mean? You want to stand out because if you get one of the top picks, you're going to get paid handsomely. You know what I mean? And I guess the other the other advantage is they're playing with men. 
right? So yeah, they're, of they're course. Much more, so a lot of people were like hating on Lamelo Ball at first, like in terms of you know he's struggling, his shots not dropping. Like what people don't understand is these guys are playing professional basketballs, right? The IQs there in college, you're playing guys that are athletic, you know, guys that are very quick. In Australia, it's 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 a mental game, man. Like you know, the the talent level is not as good as America, hundred percent. No, no way, not even but close. But the physicality is much physicality. Behind. Like, just the way teams go about things. Very professional, you know, old school kind of play. You know, it's just a big, big difference. Hey, you come out more NBA ready. You know, you're you know not playing I mean? 18-year-olds. You know, you're playing 30-year-olds, yeah. 30, 30 35-year-olds, 25-year-olds. Just their body, you know, and it's, it's they've their grown into their body. And then it's their bread and butter. I mean, for them, it's like, I've got to eat, you know what I mean? So I'm coming here to play for my paycheck. This is not some college thing where I'm thinking about the NBA. You know, I'm no. serious. This is a serious thing for me. It's my uh, life. Of course. And like, you know what? It's a lot of... College puts you in a false perspective, gives you a false perspective sometimes. There's some players that come out of college that were unbelievable, you know what I mean? They'll drop in ridiculous numbers. Come NBA, the reality hits, and they just flop, and they're out of the league in two or three years. So I, I think coming to Australia kind of exposes you as well. Mm-hmm. And again, like you said, it's testing your mental resolve. If you can if you can figure it out, if you can if you can stay the course, because, you know, there was, there was reports that Lamella wanted to go back. I think that was rubbish. Mm. I don't, uh, unless something massive happens, I'm not sure. But um, I think if you can get through that initial, you know, baptism of fire in Australia, especially, um, you're going to give yourself a really, you know, good look, you know, to people over over back home. I think the the best example we have right now is the guy who's killing it right now in the NBA, Luka Doncic, right? Played in Spain uh, at a, at, a, at their um, what's it called? Their actual basketball. Euro league, the Euro league, yeah. And and in the NBA now, he's, I mean, he was NBA ready as soon as they picked him. Uh, he was a special case, but he was MVP at seventeen but or sixteen. That's what I'm saying. It's a special but case. Him playing in that league, it, it helped it him. It's not it's not the him. case for everyone, but you can mention Rubio. Remember the hype around Rubio? Yeah, this yeah. This guy yeah. is going to change, you know, the league with the way he plays. You know, pass first point guard. You know, Rubio is solid NBA. Just player. solid, yeah. Not a knock on him, but never the superstar we thought he'd be. You know, he's playing of for. Course. Wasn't he playing EuroLeague at like fifteen or? Yeah, of course. Same, or same thing. Yeah, same yeah. hype. Yeah. But did Ruby ever play with like proper championship winning? He team? was, yeah. He played for Barcelona. Didn't yeah, he? yeah, he did. And I'm he talking about the NBA. In the NBA, he ought to show off that 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 talent. He did. Like, can you argue? Don't you just playing with proper NBA talent? Bro, last Dallas, season, Dallas. This season? No. Come on, man. No one thought Dallas was going to be a different type of player. The way Ruby plays, he needs others around him. Don't you? I get that, but he's never really developed well, offensively. We're talking about the hype at the time compared yeah. to what he became. That's the thing. Fair enough. Well, for you guys, Lamelo. You, sorry, you said you said number number one, depending on the team. Look, depending on the team, like you I said could, I'm going to go through the teams right now. All right, in terms of who can hit the lottery, okay. So you've got Atlanta, 14th. They don't need a point guard, right? You've got the New York Knicks. They need a point guard. Cleveland. They've got uh, Sexton, Sexton and Garland. They don't need a guard anymore. Washington still have John Wall. They could go in another direction, and get Lamelo Ball. In the West, you got. The Pelicans don't need a point guard. Golden State don't need a point guard. Memphis they've got John Moran. Spurs, um, you could argue don't need don't need a point guard. Like it just depends on. Honestly, the Knicks are the only fit I can see that will be a lottery pick, that high up, and I think it's gonna happen. It has to happen. If San Antonio continue the way they're going. Don't be shocked if Pop goes for Yeah, him. they'd blow it up, right? You know what I mean? They'd blow it up and then bring him in and start, but start like even young again. OKC, Sacramento. These teams have, like, Shea, he's a top, he's a top, he's going to be a top point guard. <laughs> De'Aaron Fox. Uh, there's not a lot of teams that need a point uh, guard. I just had a thought. Imagine the Pelicans uh, just sack Lonzo. <laughs> hey, Lamelo. Another, Welcome, oh, brother. Didn't, didn't, uh, Welcome. Yeah. Like, another mad fit, Minnesota. How are they going to get that yeah. pick, though? But... Yeah. Look, like I said, the uh, season's long. A lot of teams are going to drop off. A lot of teams are going to come back up. You don't know. You never know. Uh, and last one, Detroit. Could definitely use the middle ball. Yeah, Derrick Rose might stay long. I so. think uh, Lonzo's father wanted all his kids to play. That ain't, that ain't you know? ever going to happen. <laughs> Let's be real. Well, give me give me two two things Lonzo does better than anyone else right now. Lonzo does... And probably the, okay for me, he's what's, like... What's his two best... Lonzo or Lamello? No, sorry, Lamello. That does <laughs> you said Lonzo is like... For the past 10 minutes, man. You haven't even noticed it, but it's all good. <laughs> um, you guys know what I mean. Lamelo is uh, his IQ. Very smart player. His passing game. The, he pushes the pace. I like it. Like, he's not selfish on the ball. Um, his offense still needs work. 
consistency in the shot, but man, other than that, he's he's gonna be a six 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 seven point guard with handles with speed, getting there athletic wise, and he's just gonna be a tough matchup for anyone. I think to get people involved at his age, you know, what I mean, getting people older than him to to listen to him, you know, to play that game is unbelievable. That's that's crazy on its own, and the confidence he plays with at that age as well with men. That shows you a lot about the guy, and even everything he says, it's it's just uh, he's not stuffing around. He's very serious about this. He doesn't care about the celebrity, the celebrity part of the game. He's grown up a lot in the last. Couple yeah, of years, bro. Yeah. He, he used to, he's a kid, man. We we judged the guy at fifteen, sixteen as a kid. You know, he was getting cars back then. He's over all that shit. You know what I mean? Mm. So he's, I feel like he's he's coming into his own already. That's crazy. Yeah. 